Are you looking to build a DIY project with pipe? If so, there are two major things you have to think about, cost and strength. There are a lot of great options for pipes locally available to you, and they range in material, size, and price. It can be easy to get overwhelmed with all of the options that you see, especially when you're trying to save money and not overbuild something. That's why today we're gonna to talk about some of the common options that you'll see out there and how you can choose the right one for your specific project based on the cost and strength. My name is Jake and here at Maker Pipe, we manufacture steel pipe connectors that people use with various pipes to build everything from desk to jet powered sleds. There we go. Our connectors clamp around the pipe and can be assembled with a single five millimeter hex wrench. At first, we focused on making connectors for three quarter inch EMT conduit because it offers a really great balance between cost and strength. It's also easy to cut and work with and you can find it locally in hardware and home stores. We currently have the most connector solutions for three quarter inch EMT conduit. But we're also working on a lineup of one inch EMT conduit connectors for more demanding projects as well. Even though our connector system is designed to natively fit three quarter and one inch EMT conduit, we've actually found there are some other pipes that you can adapt to the connectors as well. We've done a couple of videos that showcase some options including half inch EMT, PVC, rigid conduit, and black iron pipe to name a few. In those videos, we also explain how you can research solutions for yourself, but in short, it comes down to the outer diameter of the pipe that you wanna use. If it's smaller than the diameter of the conduit that the connector is designed for, then you'll need to shim the connector down to that pipe size. We've made a chart of all the pipe options that we know work with the connectors and the shims that you need for them. You can pause the video here and screenshot it or download it from the link in the description. Three quarter inch EMT conduit is generally what we see the community build with the most, but being able to use other pipes with the connectors opens up a lot of possibilities for not only building, but saving money on your project as well. I would say the first step to figuring out which pipe to use in your project is to think about your build and ask some questions. How large is the finished project going to be and how much weight does it need to support? Figuring out those two things will give you an idea of what you need to look for and expect from a pipe. A good example from the community is this trellis built by Chris. He had some PVC pipes lying around from a different project and realized they would work just fine for a trellis build because it's pretty compact and the weight of the plants wouldn't be a problem for the PVC. If we think about the other end of the spectrum and say that Chris built the entire trellis out of black iron pipe, he would have more than tripled the cost of the trellis without actually needing the extra strength that those pipes provide. Even with conduit, which cost a lot less than black iron pipe, he still would have overspent on strength that he really didn't need for this particular build. Once you think about your build and what you needed to do, you wanna start looking at the available pipe options and figure out which one is the most affordable while still meeting those strength expectations. To do this, you kind of need a general understanding of the pipes and sizes that are available to you. You can find a lot of options in the electrical or plumbing aisle in your local hardware or home store. Some of the most common options that you'll see are PVC, wooden dowels, EMT conduit, rigid conduit, and black iron or galvanized pipe. Here's a chart that shows some of the common pipes and tubes that you can find that'll work with the connectors and their cost versus strength comparison. This isn't always the case, but usually you'll find that more expensive pipes offer more strength and rigidity. There are exceptions to this, like copper pipe, for example. These are super expensive for just a few feet, and they don't really offer more strength than some of the less expensive options out there. They do look pretty cool though, so maybe that extra cost is worth the bling in your build. Using that logic of more money equals more strength, we can evaluate some of the available options. If you're looking to build something small and lightweight that doesn't need to support a lot of weight, half inch EMT conduit and half inch Schedule 40 PVC pipes are great options to use with the three quarter inch EMT connectors. Another great lightweight option is three quarter inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe, and you can use that with the larger one inch EMT conduit connectors. Again, you'll have to shim those down accordingly, so just refer to that chart we looked at earlier. If we look back at that other chart, we can see that larger sizes of EMT conduit provide a big step up in strength without costing too much more. If you're doing general things like desks, shelves, gardening builds, or other projects around your home or shop, I would recommend using three quarter inch and one inch EMT conduit. We've done some rough strength testing in the past and found that a five foot brace structure made with three quarter inch EMT conduit held about 300 pounds before bending too much. A similar structure made with one inch EMT conduit held roughly 700 pounds. I'll link that video that we did with all the testing and the results down below if you wanna check it out. Next, let's talk about some more expensive options that provide a lot of strength to builders. If you're making something really large and heavy duty, I would recommend using black iron pipe, galvanized plumbing pipe, or rigid conduit. Again, all three of those options are pretty expensive for just a few feet, but they do provide a lot in terms of strength and rigidity. And if your project really needs it, that extra cost is gonna be worth it. Those pipe options come in a couple of sizes that work with our clamp style connectors, so you don't have to worry about cutting and re-threading the pipes whenever you're building. 
Again, for a full list of the sizes and pipes that'll work along with the shims that you need, just refer to that chart. With that general understanding of the pipe options that are available and the strength that they provide, I wanna mention a couple of strategic ways that you can mix and match pipes in your project to save money and still get the strength that you need. First, it's important to keep in mind that adding simple braces to reinforce a build may be better and cheaper than jumping up to a more expensive pipe option. For example, in the half inch empty conduit testing that we did, we found that adding braces really increased the weight capacity by a decent amount. So instead of jumping up to three quarter or one inch empty conduit, you could just use half inch empty conduit or PVC, whatever it is, and actually just brace the structure to get the strength that you need. This reminds me of a comment we got on a Facebook post a little while ago, where somebody used an analogy of a suspension bridge to talk about the strength of conduit and other building materials. A single wire used in a suspension bridge wouldn't be able to hold up much weight on its own, but when you combine a series of wires strategically, you can create a bridge that supports the weight of thousands of cars on a daily basis. This is a great analogy even if you're doing some basic projects around the house. Pipes are inherently strong when used as vertical supports, but will bend when you have a long unsupported span horizontally. Generally, we recommend that every four or five feet of pipe that you have in your build, you should have some kind of reinforcement, whether it be a vertical support leg or an angled brace. Another thing to keep in mind is the fact that you can mix and match pipes when building with the maker pipe connectors. Dave recently built a dirt bike wheel chock out of a mixture of pipes. The crossbar takes most of the force when the dirt bikes are secured, so Dave used a galvanized steel plumbing pipe for that. The rest of the build is one inch EMT conduit. And because those pipes are connected and braced to that really rigid crossbar, the whole thing is incredibly strong and supports the weight of the dirt bikes just fine. Another tip I have for choosing pipes is to look and see what other builders have created, whether it be from PVC, conduit, black iron pipe, or any of the other options. We have a community forum with hundreds of builds made out of EMT conduit, and you can find other build examples on Google, Pinterest, and YouTube. Seeing what's possible will not only give you ideas, but also help give you confidence when choosing from the available options that are out there. If you have any questions about your build or about pipes you wanna use in your project, feel free to reach out to us. We don't know everything, of course, but we're always here and happy to help where we can. Thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you in the next video.